Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mary, and I'll be presenting my experience as a Davies Fellow in Psychiatry. So first of all, my fellowship took place at the Fedorowitz Lab, which is in the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics System, also affiliated with the Carver College of Medicine in the University of Iowa. My fellowship took place from March 17th to May 7th, 2014, which is block seven and eight of last year. So important people who I worked with, my site mentor was Dr. Jess Fedorowitz, who is a psychiatrist at the University of Iowa. He, he does clinical practice. He also runs a research lab and he teaches some classes at the Carver College of Medicine. So he's a very busy person. I also worked very closely with Lois Warren, who is Jess's main research assistant in his lab. I shadowed her on many of her day-to-day -day tasks and it overall uh, followed her job very closely. So wh while I was in Jess's lab, we worked on problems of excess mortality in people with mood disorders and anxiety disorders, and specifically th that was in people with bipolar disorder 1 and 2. We looked to s at people who were taking medication for bipolar disorder, and then we uh, examined their cardiovascular health to see if there were adverse effects of this medication and to see if that could be contributing to the excess mortality we see in that population. So what I did in the lab, and the picture here is my desk, which doesn't look that interesting, but I grew to love it by the end. <laughs> I was a student research assistant. That was my formal title. So that means that I did a whole host of things. I assisted, we had several ongoing studies, all on the topics I previously described. So I did a lot of record keeping things. I organized paperwork for each of our studies. I got client packets ready to go when we had a new participant. And I also kept participa participant information organized and ready to go. I was also very active in the client recruitment process. When we had new participants, I went with either Jess or Lois to, uh, to meet with them. And I was able to shadow Jess and Lois in their assessment techniques and I was able to learn several of the more simple assessment techniques, which was wonderful for someone who's looking at pursuing a career in practice. Additionally, I had many career development opportunities. I was able to network with professionals at the University of Iowa Hospitals and was able to shadow many different professionals in the hospital, which was very helpful to my own career development. And lastly, as a capstone during my project, I wrote my own independent research paper. So my paper focused on the importance of informed healthcare when working with uh, clients and uh, patients in the, the population of people with mental health disorders. So I looked at the discrimination that people with mental health disorders can face and how that can additionally intersect with other minority statuses such as race, sexual orientation, gender, and the importance of realizing all of these intersecting discrimination factors and how if the doctors do not recognize this, it can lead to a lower quality of health care for their patients. The impact of my fellowship. I have a much greater understanding of the research process now after being immersed in it for two months. It was wonderful. I got to see things from doctors' perspective, from research assistants' perspective, and from participants' perspectives as well. As there were several participants, I got to follow throughout the whole process and really hear their side of the story. Additionally, I have very uh, much greater experience with the software and hardware. For instance, a lot of our studies dealt with MRIs, so I, I know a lot more about MRIs now, how they work, which sort of settings they're suited for. I also got to work with the Endopat system, which is a really cool measure of cardiovascular health that measures vein elasticity. And uh, from that, you can infer how much plaque buildup there is on the inside of the veins, and you can infer cardiovascular health from there. I also worked with the REDCap data entry software and the EndNote citation software. As I mentioned before, I had so many wonderful shadowing opportunities, which really solidified my career of working as a clinical psychologist. But also, uh, I realized that I want to work in research as well as working with people. Well, and uh, all of these experiences made me realize that I can do all of these things. I can work with people, I can research, and I can even I incorporate some of my other interests, such as feminism and domestic violence advocacy. And this will make me a better professional if I bring my passions into the picture. Finally, I would like to thank Dr. Jess Fedorowitz, who couldn't be here tonight, but who was just so wonderful and so helpful to me throughout this experience. Lois Warren, who did so much for me. She was uh, 
every bit as instrumental as Jess was. Dr. Jody Tate, Dr. Todd Koppelman, and Dr. David Moser all let me shadow them. I'm so grateful. And then the Cornell College Fellows Program, especially Dr. Sue Astley and Dr. Melinda Green, who mentored me through the application process. I decided very late that I wanted to apply, and they never said no to me. They were only positive. And Virginia Davis, class of 76, without whose support, this would never have happened. Thank you very much. <laughs>